Hey everyone, I wanted to share a couple of quick updates in regards to uh, what's going on at Creekside with the reopening uh, for the state of Washington. And uh, this last week on June 30th, the mask mandates and a lot of different uh, guidelines and requirements have been lifted and the state is reopening. And one of the policies that we've had at Creekside is kind of, let's be cautious um, and wise in how we move forward. And so we have looked at what that reopening means for us after, after Wednesday. Um, and we've come to the conclusion that the, there is a path forward and where we can still practice health, but also practice um, a little bit more of the um, normal life that we've been kind of looking forward to. And so uh, what does that mean for us? On Sunday mor mornings, if you are fully vaccinated, you no longer need to wear a mask during our Sunday gatherings, which is awesome. And I know many of us have put these masks into practice as a way of protecting other people. And so thank you for doing that. Thank you for taking this, uh, this whole pandemic seriously. And so I appreciate your, your willingness to walk this road with us. Um, and so if you are fully vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask in the big room. Uh, working with uh, or uh, well, as we gather together to worship uh, and also if you uh, uh, you probably have been coming on Sunday and you've been reserving seats and uh, and so after this Sunday we are no longer going to be doing any kind of seat reservation practice and so this Sunday reserving seats actually helps us to make sure that we have enough food for our barbecue after the 11 o'clock service um, but starting the 11th uh, we are not going to be asking for reserving any more seats. And then on this Sunday, we are not going to be assigning seats. And so you can sit with whoever you want um, and that'll, it'll be great. I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, uh, I know we're easing into some of the uh, reopening stuff. And so we are not going to just fill up our big room with chairs. We're still going to leave some distance in the rows uh, as we are working out some of the details. Uh, so there will still be some spaces that have um, just a couple of seats next to them uh, for a while. And I know that there's, there are folks who still aren't comfortable with uh, sharing seats with folks. There's some people who are not able to be vaccinated. And so we wanna make sure that we're still creating spaces for, uh, for their, um, their opportunity to gather and worship together. As, so as part of this, you know, not having to wear masks on Sunday if you're vaccinated, how will we know if you're vaccinated? We are not going to be asking our first impressions team to be checking to see if anybody is vaccinated. We are going to be working on the honor system. And so I'm gonna trust you that if you, are, uh, if you are not vaccinated, that you will continue to wear the mask because that is really one of the safest things that you can do in public gatherings. And so please, um, let's, let's trust each other. Let's practice this honor system as we continue to move into more and more reopening. Uh, also, kids, um, most of our children are not able to be vaccinated. And so our kids teams, while they are working with children, um, they, they will be wearing masks. Um, and kids, we're still going to ask kids to be wearing masks as well for the next, next season as we are opening up. Knowing, looking at the fall, most schools are still planning on having students wear masks, um, then this is still part of our reality because this pandemic is not over yet. We're getting close. Um, and so we are um, taking cautious steps forward together. And so thank you for taking some time to watch this video. And if you haven't already uh, re reserved a seat for this Sunday, uh, let us know you're coming. We only have one 11 o'clock service this week and then a barbecue right afterwards as a way to uh, celebrate Independence Day together, but also spend some time uh, fellowshipping with one another. And so please be sure to let us know you're coming and then also uh, bring a camp chair uh, with you so you can, can sit and hang out and uh, take some time together. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email, jduman at thecreeksidechurch.org. Uh, and I'd love to walk this out with you and help uh, bring any clarity uh, as we continue to move forward together. Thank you all for your flexibility, for your patience uh, and endurance over the last 15 months. Uh, the church 
Uh, I said early on when we were asked not to gather, that I said the church is not closed. The building was closed, but the church was still open. And I am so proud of our church uh, for rolling with the punches as we have gone through this whole pandemic together. We never stopped worshiping Jesus. We never stopped preaching the gospel. And we never stopped serving our community. And so even with the pandemic, we have learned that we can continue to do gospel things together. And so I'm eager for the next chapter as we move forward into that, um, not knowing for sure what all that's going to be, but I'm trusting that together as we seek Jesus, as we serve our community, uh, we will see that he is faithful and he will lead us through whatever challenges may come. God bless and I'll see you Sunday.